Welcome to CEO Insights. I'm Marilyn de Guzman with InvestingNews.com. I'm speaking with Catlin Jeffs, uh, President and CEO of Red Metal Resources. Hi, Catlin. Good morning, Mary. It's good to have you. Let's talk about your uh, Carizal uh, property. You've, uh, can, can you talk about the progress in that? You've, you've done some, some work on that. Talk, talk about the, the highlights of those work and what are the plans moving forward? Well, so far, we've actually got about 9,000 meters worth of drilling into the project. It's been fairly tightly focused on a one and a half kilometer strike length of veining that we've identified on surface. There's another 15 kilometers worth of veins we need to explore, though. So that's a big project. It's a lot of work. We have crews on the ground right now doing sampling, trying to develop more drill targets and where we should go. And the next step after that will be an alteration study to try to understand the footprint of the larger deposit that we think is there and compare it against an historic mine that's a long strike that covers the same vein system. Um, after that, we're hopefully going to be drilling in, in the future. That's the goal. We've sort of covered this one and a half kilometers, and we think if we can demonstrate the same potential that we've seen on that one and a half kilometers, where we've gotten great intercepts of up to 32 meters of plus 1% copper um, and a half a gram of gold, we think that if we can demonstrate where we've got 15 kilometers worth of those types of targets, um, things will be going well for us. Do you want to talk about maybe just the jurisdiction? So for investors that maybe are not familiar, like where like this property is located, some of the advantages of, of so that? We're in the coastal Cordillera. We are uh, about 100 kilometers south of Copiapo, which was the find for Candelaria mine in 1993. It's a great find. It sort of revived interest in that coastal lower elevation area, demonstrated that there are economic deposits that don't have to be at 5,000 meters, which nobody wants to explore at 5,000 meters deep down. Um, so it's historically a higher grade belt. Um, it's not sort of 0.6, it's more like one to two percent, but they're sort of they're medium-sized deposits as opposed to you know a billion tons. And so we are focused on finding something that would be an underground bulk mining tonnage target. Um, we can work year-round because we're at five to seven hundred meters elevation. Uh, it's a 45-minute drive to the town that we service ourselves out of, Vinar. So it, there's a lot of benefits. It's also in Chile, in today's world, we've got to address the water situation, the fact that desalination is just a fact of life for the mining industry. So we're only two, 23 kilometers from the sea, which is a big help. So there's a lot of benefits sort of in where we are and what we're looking for that maybe aren't the same issues that most Chilean properties have of being at high elevation, et cetera. Now, um, you also are planning some work for your recently acquired project in Quebec. Could you talk a bit more about that? Uh, it's prospective for hydrogen. What, what makes that portfolio a compelling uh, property? Well, so obviously we're going for this clean energy concept. You know, back to, to copper, we, our entire civilization is founded. Our history is based on copper. We believe our future is also copper. But hydrogen is a very good balance for that. It is technically the cleanest form of energy we can find in the world but natural hydrogen is is very new it's a very exciting new market you know nobody's got sort of big development so far that we can point to but we believe we'll be at the leading edge with with groups that are just developing this market right now so we're right next to qimc they believe they have found a reservoir and our, our claims are adjoining and we have a, a couple of other claims in very similar rocks so but it's still this one is really this is the very beginning of what should be an exciting industry. Mm -hmm. And what are your plans for, for that property? So our plans are, first, obviously, we're going to be going out to do some geophysics. Mm -hmm. And we're hopefully going to be able to work with a group that we've met to develop some soil gas testing to, to outline the potential or some, some remnant hydrogen that's seepage from a lower deposit. But we'll be heading out to do some geophysics this year. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, it's one step at a time with such a brand new industry. Yeah. So these are, you have two, you know, uh, projects, significant projects uh, that are, you're, you're advancing in different, you know, parts of the world. Yeah. Um, how are you uh, strategically allocating resources uh, so that you're sort of optimizing or maximizing the, the both properties? Well, I mean, everything, I live in Thunder Bay. Um, I sort of, uh, there's a group of us that have a, 
consulting company and all the principals are involved with public entities and the consulting company is sort of our team and the team is developed to work on anything, which is really nice. So all of the geology can be centralized from where we are. We've got a couple of people that have worked with us for years in Chile. You know, a good solid crew that we feel comfortable with. Um, and yeah, I just have to get on planes a lot, which that's part of life and, and part of what we do as geologists. So now uh, you're here at PDAC. Um, what's the key message you're telling investors about your company? Well, that, you know, the world is excited about AI. The world is excited about the future and all of it's going to need energy. It's going to need copper and we should be investing in our futures. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Thanks, Catlin, for Thank joining much. me today. And thanks, everyone, for watching. Join us again next time for another edition of CEO Insights.